Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It's uh, it's been a long time, a long while. All the videos are back in public again, uh, so that's a good thing. Yeah. But other than that, we have uh, some things we need to take care of. So, obviously, we went on a many month hiatus mm -hmm. from middle of November to now, and it's literally almost the end of February. Yeah. Uh, the dust has settled on Copa, and we're back to a degree. We believe that the threat of Copa and being sued has been largely overhyped and blown out of proportion. Definitely. But uh, it's because content creators on YouTube are not operators and are not the people Copa is trying to target. Copa supports creating content for mixed audiences and is therefore not the problem. YouTube is being stupid because they always are. Yeah, us as content creators on YouTube, we do not have control over how ads are targeted to people. It's either we enable ads and we it just goes wherever Google sends them, or we just say, sorry, I don't want your ads. And then sometimes they just put ads anyways. It's like we have no control over that. We are not responsible for the beta collection. So, yeah, and we've uh, we've seen things that have been happening. Uh, it's uh it's kind of scary to a degree not not financially scary but after doing so many videos and spending so much time it's kind of scary that everything could be wiped away in one moment because youtube determines something else or its algorithm decides to put your video as something that it shouldn't be yeah that's honestly exactly what the problem is the problem is YouTube's end, definitely. It's their implementation of the COPPA compliance. We're not worried so much about being sued, because, as we said, we're not the operators of YouTube. However, YouTube's end is what could screw you over still. Because even though you're not in trouble financially, their system of flagging videos as being flagged inappropriately is pretty flawed. And if they do incorrectly flag you for some reason, because, you know, the black box that is Google is like, nah, I don't like you today. Yeah. If they flag you, basically, sometimes it's just that video, or it could be your entire channel, who knows? Uh, they just basically turn off your discoverability, turn off your comments, your video doesn't go trending, or can't go trending isn't shown to other people except for maybe your subscribers, and that's even a maybe. Very, very much so. Unfortunately, we've had friends who have been affected by this directly. We were fortunate that we have not been affected even after putting everything back up, but I, I don't feel that this breeds a good environment for creators like us. Very, very much so. I agree with you. My background just went a little crazy because my wife walked in, but... uh. <laughs> Editing is a thing. Yeah, we're kind of doing that. It, it's It's been a long time since we made a video, so she's just like, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and we're kind of, uh, kind of at a standstill with YouTube. And especially, we were going full force. Three videos a day, and then I got sick, so we started doing one, and then we hit two video, uh, three videos a day, three videos a week. Sorry, my bad. We didn't go that far. We're not the game grumps. Um, uh, Jesus. I, I, at that rate, I don't think Kappa would have been the thing to kill us. I think we would have killed ourselves. Pretty much. So, basically, what it is, is that we don't feel that it's a good place to be right now. We don't feel that YouTube is there to support their creators anymore. They're just trying to well get as much money as they can in most ways. Especially with the whole COPPA thing. So we decided 
that we're leaving YouTube to a degree. And this is really hard for us after doing all that work. But the possibility of putting more and more hours in and everything just getting lost because YouTube is being YouTube. It's it's scary and it's a bit um, – it feels like time would be wasted if that stuff happened. But we're still going to be uploading to YouTube just in a different fashion. We're shifting our focus to Twitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to be uploading to YouTube periodically. But we are moving our active series, Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, Luigi's Mansion, Batman Arkham City, Tomb Raider, Skyrim, Alice Madness Returns, Road to El Dorado, Gold and Glory, and Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep are all going to be moved to Twitch, meaning that we will be playing them on stream on Twitch and we'll be uploading them as the next quote unquote episode on YouTube in the series. Uh, and we'll probably do some edits of some streams. We'll probably like not just do the series, but like stream something just fun and then do like a quote unquote funny moments edit. That's the only way that I can really explain how the editing uh, side is, is the, all the funny moments stuff, how they chop it up. Basically, yeah. Highlights. And it was so nice to get away from our regular schedule, from doing that three video. This is what I was trying to get to earlier, and then I rambled off. Three videos a week for nearly a year. And then we went mm -hmm. two videos a week because I got sick. And then we had the full stop because of Kappa. It's felt nice with the full stop. Yeah. And I don't know if that's good or bad. But the stress of doing the YouTube videos has just kind of... It overwhelmed us and we didn't notice it. Mm -hmm. And honestly, even just stepping away from YouTube for a little while, it just genuinely felt like, hey... We have time to do other things now. We felt free. So we're going to move away from that regular schedule. Like we're not going to stream three times a week type of a thing. We're going to go fewer. Like we don't have a set schedule yet, but we'll probably in the future of like a specific day every week or something like that. Something to that extent. But we're, we're, we're doing it for fewer but longer sessions. So instead of three 20-minute videos a week, you get one, like, three-hour stream type of a thing. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what we're going to run. Yeah. This is a hard video to make. Because we love this channel so much that having to step away from it pretty much hurts. So that's why I'm kind of not here right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, man. You got to put on a brave face for the peoples. They've been with us for this long. Thank you guys for all your support. We've gained subscribers while we've been on hiatus. Like, holy shit. It's insane. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, thank you for all the support. Thank you for 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 showing us that what we were doing meant something to you guys, that you guys enjoyed it, you guys watched it, you guys subscribed because of it. It really made us feel like we were doing something to, together and doing something good, and that it was going up uphill until the Kappa thing. Mm hmm. Copper thing basically killed the channel. But, well, it killed the channel statistics. I just looked at it the other day and holy shit. Comparative <laughs> to what we used to do, oh my god, it's like one third. I mean, almost all of our videos were gone for a little while, so we couldn't even get backlog views, but still. Yeah. That was, that was just for safety. Us fucking putting them all to private. That was just for safety. So anyways, thank you all for supporting us for this long and for being with us. And uh, 
now I guess it's for the plugs of where you can find us other than YouTube, since we're going to be stepping away for the most part. Yeah. You can find us over on twitch.tv slash Gaming. We'll be streaming there. If you go over there to twitch.tv slash Gaming, you can find in our stream cards a Discord link that will invite you to our Hero Bros Worldwide fan Discord. Or we will also have it in the description of this video if you care to. Fuck it, we haven't done it in a while. Let's edit. Let's put the URL on the screen. I believe we can do it. You're fucking editing this, son. <laughs> oh, someone doesn't remember how to edit. Dude, I can barely use Photoshop at the moment. <laughs> I have not done thumbnails or anything in a long ass time, all right? Anyways, also, if you care to go the extra mile and support us even more, we have a Patreon. And that Patreon is Hero Bros Gaming. You can just find us by typing in Hero Bros Gaming. And if you want to specifically help me, you can find me on Patreon at RealSora13. Yes, I have a separate Patreon. It's because I stream solo. Sometimes. So, there we go. Basically, what we're saying, TLDR, is all the COPPA stuff was hyped up more than it should have been, but it's still scary. So we're quitting YouTube, pretty much, in favor of Twitch, and then just throwing everything that we do on Twitch onto YouTube. So that way you guys still have something if you follow us on YouTube and not on Twitch. Mm-hmm. So I guess for the last time on a YouTube video, I'm Real Sora 13 And I'm Adam Boy 7 We're Hero Bros Gaming. And thank you for sticking with us. Boy. Alright, sync stop. Alright, you can down. Uh, on go. Three, two, one. Good enough.